is I don't care how you do it. As a medical marijuana caregiver who was also facing felony marijuana trafficking charges. Soros money paid to have economic incentive brought into this state to have people who could come in here and exploit our patients for capital gain, just like they do in California. Becky DeQuaster came here and spent $430,000 and gave it to Dan Walker, the man sitting beside her right there, who works for Severin Beliveau, to buy her four of the eight dispensaries in this state. It's the truth. Public records, look it up. She got sued for $689,000 because that's what she owed him. That's what happened. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> and we got Russ Beliveau, who took a senescent normal media and um, made it real and, and brought normal back to life in the modern media. And we got Steve Elliott, who's took to the town, and uh, a column that he writes in the Hood's Voice Online. Um, um. Hi, I'm Steve Elliott. Hi, Steve. I edit Toke of the Town, which is Village Voice Media's blog of cannabis news and views. Uh, I think what we're facing with the media is it's a value-neutral mechanism. The function of the media is to make a profit. We live in a capitalistic society. So what that makes the media a lot like is a fire. That media can cast light or it can cast heat. And unfortunately, a lot of times when it comes to the issue of marijuana, the media is casting a lot more heat than it is light. I think the task of us, of those who are lucky enough to work in the marijuana media, is to cast more of that light and less of that heat. And at the same time, we have to operate within that paradigm of getting those page views. When Village Voice hired me in November 2009 to run Toke of the Town, they told me, and this is a quote, just get page views. I don't care how you do it. Exactly on point with that because uh, the thing I would say to anyone who wants to see better cannabis coverage in the media is to demand it. Demand accountability, demand accuracy. When you see bad reporting on cannabis, call the reporter on it. Write them an email. Let them know. Page hits are page hits, so if you get them, then they back away and let you run your own show. So then how do you end up finding that balance between getting those page hits and getting the content out that people want to see? Like, how do you get the right message into what you're trying to say while still getting people to look at it? You'll find that a lot of times the prohibitionists, rather than trying to engage the intellect, they will try to engage the emotions, as Russ just said. It's fear tactics. When people start fearing, they stop thinking, and that's the reason the first thing the prohibition what Russ said. <laughs> Excellent point, uh, because if by the way you argue you make people feel dumb, they stop listening right then, and right. they're not that's interested right. in anything right. else you have to say. If you can make them feel empowered by what you're telling them, if you can make them feel smart, like I know that you can appreciate this, and tell them that's right. I don't care how you do it. Just get page views. I don't care how you do it. Hi, I'm Steve Elliott. Hi, Steve. I edit Toke of the Town, which is Village Voice Media's blog. I don't care how you do it.